Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual Duelist here. Time for a Deck Master Monday. So, I haven't done this in forever, and honestly, it's kind of because I just, like, stopped doing it for a minute. Um, it's not that Deck Masters are any less in my heart than they used to be. Um, it's just a matter of, like, I wasn't buying a whole lot of products. I stopped looking at modern effects. And I was diving more into, like, past play sets, um, doing stuff as far as, like, common charity. Well, I even dropped off for common charity for a little while there. Got a deck tomorrow for you guys for that. Um, got more into the speed duel, building the draft, uh, researching dungeon dice, and uh, doing all the other associated non-essential bits. But that said, we're going to be back to this. I'm, I'm not going to drop it every week. But uh, I got a cool one. He's been sitting on the uh, the table here for like the last 8 to 12 months, maybe. Uh, we got Despia, Despian Caritis. Caritis. Anyway, we got this amazing Fiend Fusion that would make an excellent deck master. Uh, he's not too bad. He's going to have evened out stats of 25 by 25. He is the fusion of any Despia monster plus a light or dark attribute card. So again, it's fairly easy to make. You could make a good super polymerization trap target uh, if you were, in fact, playing a Despia deck. Um, the effect here, though, makes him a pretty fair deck master and not a terrible one. During the main phase, as a quick effect, you may change the attack of all monsters currently on the field to zero until the end of the turn. The exception is level 8 or higher fusion monsters. If this face of card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can add to your hand or special summon one Fallen of Albaz or one Despia monster from the deck. You can use each effect a hard once per turn. Um, so again, real quick, why would you play this? Well, there's two decks that really come to mind. First and foremost would absolutely be the Fallen of Albaz. Now, Due to Deckmaster rules, you're not going to want your Deckmaster version to be placed on the field. So, like, the whole, if this leaves the field, you can go ahead and special summon a thing. Number one, that's not going to transfer the ability of your Deckmaster the way it does in the Yu-Gi-Oh! show. And um, it's just a matter of, like, it's a cool card. And uh, it, it kind of goes with their theory of how uh, they have all those big fusions. Um, but Gladiator Beasts, guys... Uh, Claire, uh, Tamer Editor, uh, Heraclinos, stuff like that. Uh, those are level 8 or higher fusions. This is a very cool card for a deck like that. So again, yeah, not a super long video, just a really fair monster. And again, the fact that he just zeroes the account of all face-up monsters makes it very easy to change the board. Um, being able to just go in and uh, essentially overrun your opponent. Um, I know that there's a lot of dinosaur decks that would reply or would require you to play things such as Hydro Get On. Well, if your opponent's got a board, you got a Hydro Get On, you could do this, manipulate the field, get all the stuff. You got some dinosaurs, you could play some Evelzar Xyz to help set up a new board. Um, that's a good move. So, uh, yeah, do the stuff, play the card, guys. Enjoy your day. Um, tomorrow I have a Common Charity Exodia deck. It's been requested. I'd like to go ahead and get that out for you guys. Um, so just do the things. Don't do the things. Enjoy the rest of your day. And hopefully we started the week off strong. See you next time, guys.